stay, but I'm not going to, I can't force you, right? That's the theme of the conference. Uh, my name is Benny Wills. This is part four of my presentation called the Be Undeniable. And pretty soon you'll understand why I decided to call it Be Undeniable, but not quite yet. First, I have some unfortunate news. The government is lying to us. I know, I know. The media, the media is lying to us. Hollywood is lying to us. History is lying to us too. Advertisements are lying to us. Colleges are lying to us. Pop music is lying to us. Doctors are lying to us too. Late night shows tell late night lies. Morning programs program lies. Evening viewing spewing lies. Corporate sponsored lies, lies, lies. Games of blame and blasphemy of mind-controlling alchemy, of symbol-weaving tapestries, self-righteous rigid fallacies, and dreams for chasing fantasies. Law enforcers are lying to us. Newspapers are lying to us. Warmongers are lying to us. Psychopaths are lying to us. The group you're in is grooming you. The herd you're in is hurting you. The shows you watch are showing you fictitious worlds transfixing you. Thoughts you think are not your own. Opinions formed are not your own. The fear you feel is not your own. Question, question everything from leftist leanings to far right wings. Lead yourself to free your thinking. Spit take the Kool-Aid you've been drinking. You are the key, you are the future. So thick your skin and sense your humor. The kingdom is right there for us. The garden is right there for us. Freedom is right there for us. Salvation is right there for us. There are lies and lies and lies and lies. And the truth shall set you free. So I'm gonna I host an event in Southern California. I've done it a few times now called Regeneration, which is a, a similar type of event, but we focus on creativity in general, or specifically, because creativity I think is one of our greatest tools. You can reach people with creativity in ways you can't in other ways. Uh, I use humor a lot of the time with videos. I use poetry like I'm doing here. And uh, I found that it's very effective in reaching people, for instance, in my family, who are otherwise absolutely resistant to these ideas, but I can perform a poem and they'll listen. One of the other ways of reaching people is through song. So I'd like to invite a special guest on stage with me today. This is my beautiful girlfriend, Sonia. And she's going to explain to you how there is no alt-right. Among other things. <laughs> okay. There is no alt-right. It's just a provocation to fight if you don't believe me. Observe all the hate in place of fair and sound debate. It's so deceiving. When words become minds in a field When the media decides what is real When the pain in your heart that you feel Has been weaponized, pathologized The red pill cure left unprescribed It's not freedom it's a clear warning sign that the wizard in the shadows is 
guiding your mind. The war is on us, and the weapon is mistrust of your own neighbor. White, male, or rich, or God forbid you're religious, you're out of favor. Does your blood boil at the mention? Does the media have your undivided attention? Do you feel chronic apprehension? When you watch the news and feel the blues But don't know what, where, when, or who It's not freedom It's a clear warning sign That the wizard in the shadows Is guiding your mind I pledge allegiance to the truth do no harm and I will stand with you There's no such thing as red or blue You own you, I own me Let go of group identity I pledge allegiance to the truth Do no harm and I will stand there's no such thing as red or blue You own you, I own me Let go of group identity Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thanks. That was great. Oh man, <laughs> I'm moved. Um, so the last piece I performed, I was pretty angry when I wrote that because I have been, um, I've been, uh, how do you say it? I've been cut off by some family members in the last year for basically doing what I'm doing here today. And that's been really tough. Uh, maybe 10 years ago I was, I was seen more as like the silly conspiracy theorist, but now I'm seen as more of a threat, and that's uh, a scary place to be. It's a really, it's a sign of the times. Because I've only gotten better as a person. Oh, well, thank you, I appreciate that. So, anyway, some people think I'm crazy. Some people think I'm dumb. Some people think I'm racist. Some people think I'm scum. I've been called a bigot. I've even been called a Nazi. I've been called a fucking idiot and a stupid brainwashed zombie. I tried to put my dukes up, tried my hand at fighting back. I tried to just ignore it by cutting them some slack. I added logic to my tool belt, loaded facts into my arsenal. I triple-checked my sources, and I cited every single article. But repeatedly, I got denied. Because I'm a kooky, alt-right, conspiracy kind of guy. In their eyes, of course. Not mine. In their eyes, I saw myself. In their eyes, I saw their fear. In their eyes, I saw the lies they liked and were clutching to so dear. I saw that it was safe in there. I saw that it was comfortable in spite of their despair. Their chains were weighing heavy on their slouching, sloping shoulders as they wrestled insecurity and a dread of growing older. They couldn't hear what I was saying, couldn't accept that they'd been duped. They instead preferred the television and acceptance from the group. My objective reasoning, therefore, simply fell upon deaf ears. I stood no chance at penetrating the programming that had been running them for years. And just like that, 
It hit me. I knew it must be done. A new approach entirely to empower me that would also be more fun. Be undeniable. Become undeniable. Sheep will sleep and cattle may battle, but my life could be undeniable. Walk your talk, be undeniable. Set an example, be undeniable. Steward the earth, be undeniable. Be the best you and become undeniable. If the life you lead is exciting, your life will be undeniable. If you're successful in life and you're thriving, your life then becomes undeniable. If you're adding value and striving to make your life undeniable constantly, every day, always, in all ways, your life will be absolutely 100% undeniable. So don't be a crybaby. Be undeniable. Don't be a victim. Be undeniable. Don't be a sellout little bitch. Be the one. Be like Jesus. Be someone irrefutably, unequivocally, without any doubt, undeniable. Be anything but basic. Uh, I got a couple minutes left. That's the end of my set. So thank you very much for anybody who's been here all four days. I really appreciate it. Um, I've had requests over the last couple of years for copies of my poetry. They don't exist anywhere, but in my head and on YouTube videos like this one, forthcoming. So I printed out some hard copies of all 10 pieces I did here this weekend. Two sets, so two copies of each. They're the only hard copies in existence. If anybody would like one, they're for sale. I'm going to sign them and uh, I'll say I'll start at $20 per or best offer. So they're here. Whatever, 50, great. Anything, just talk to me afterwards. I also have stickers to sell for Joy Camp, five bucks a pop or five million pesos, whatever you're willing to offer. Uh, but that's it, it's a pleasure being here. And again, thank you all. You can find me, it's really a pleasure, so thank you. Thanks.